Hello, Wonderworld. Uh, no, no, I don't need double glazing. Um, look, I'm really sorry, I need to go, because I'm at work. No, don't call me back, because the answer will be the same. Are you right? I'm, um, handing him a notice. Oh, no. Oh, no, we need you on the sales team. I know, and I'm sorry, but I've got to get out of here. Well, the factory, I thought you liked it. No, where's the field? Oh, come on, you're not in trouble already, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. I just, you know, there's a, a whole big world out there, and I just feel like, you know, there's a lot I want to see and do. Well, fair enough. Where are you going? Bromsgrove. Bromsgrove? <laughs> I thought you were going, like, trekking in Nepal or something. Hey, Bromsgrove's great. And, yeah, my mate's just... He's offered me a job at his firm, and I mean, it's double what I get here, so I couldn't say no. I'm surprised you're going anywhere. I mean, what about your mum and Summer? And Billy's back on the market. No, me and Billy, yeah, we're in the past. All right. Look, um, I'm not going to say that I'm not annoyed that you're leaving us in the lurch, but I do hope it works out for you. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate that. And at least we've got you to work your notice period. No, I'm leaving today. You are? Well, the job starts tomorrow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is typical of you. You just leave and then you leave everybody else to sort your mess out. You've got two weeks' notice and you're working it. You didn't make Paul work his notice period. Because sales is more important than packing. I can get Kirk to work overtime. I can't afford to lose your leads. Well, I'm sorry, but I've got no choice. You know, when you went, I thought, you know what, he might have changed, but you've not, have you? You're still the same and you don't think of anyone but yourself. That is not fair. Do you know what? I don't care. Can you just go? Because I need someone to replace you. 